Hey guys, this is Jeshua Lee. Here's another quick video just to save you some money. Look at, we have a 2017 Sportsman 450 HO EFI. And the problem we're having with it is, is it will run for a second and then shut right back off. And as you can see here, the check engine light is on. That little orange light, that's the check engine light. So let's, what you do is lock this brake, just make sure it's locked. It won't start unless you have that locked. Or if you, you can squeeze it by hand, obviously, too. But you can lock it to, so you can have one hand operation. Crank it up. Cranks up. Running good. Boom, shuts off. Check engine lights back on. So this model here displays error codes. In order to see the error codes, you have to press this speed reverse override button. Now some of the older Polarises have actually a button right here, or maybe even some of the new ones do. There's a button right there. You could press it, but on this one here, you press this button. If you press it one time, and I'll move over to the display so you can see what it changes. Press it one time, it goes to that. Press it again, it says check engine. Now you can cycle through this. Let's just keep going. It shows the number of miles on here, the odometer reading, and it gives trip one, trip two engine rpm engine temperature um the dc battery voltage temperature i'm sorry dc battery voltage and then um again when you get right here it says c-k-e-n-g which means check engine and so when you get to that when you see that on the error code all i was doing was just pressing that when you see that you want to just hold this button down just hold it down while you see that up there so i'm gonna hold it down and now it switches over and you see the check engine light is flashing. So when the check engine light is flashing, it's showing the error codes that 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 have been triggered. And so you see it has zero over for, to the far left and then it says 1268 and below it says three. And so according to the service manual, that 1268 code means that you have a bad ignition coil. So you go down right here. Here's your ignition coil. And the ignition coil is mounted right there like that. It's just a single 10 millimeter or 3 8 screw. Bolt holding it right there. Has a little plug on it. You want to squeeze that little tab, remove that. I already have a new one right here. This is a fairly inexpensive part. I think it's like 120 bucks, maybe 150. You can install it yourself. It's not hard to replace. You just snap that little boot off. So basically that error code is saying that this this little module is bad. That's all it said. That's all it means. And so um now in the service manual, some people would be like, well, is there a way to check that? The service manual tells you to ohm these terminals, these two terminals here, and you should get half an ohm. And it says plus or minus 10%. When I ohm mine out, I get a whole ohm, one ohm, one ohm. When I ohm the old one out, it also is one ohm. So when you ohm these out, they actually ohm out to be the same, both the new one and the old one. They ohm out the same, so you, you can't use an ohms test to test these all the time. I mean, obviously, if you ohm it and it's, you're getting zero readings, it's probably bad. But if the reading is, I would say if the reading is between five point, I mean, a half an ohm up to at least one in point two ohms, you probably probably won't be able to tell from there whether it's really bad or not. So um, both of them ohm out the same way, but when I put this one on there, the error code is gone. So I, I've already gotten it running. I had this one in. I put it back out just so I could make this video. Just to show you, um, again, 1268 error code, engine lights flashing. And I was able to access the error codes by pressing this repeatedly until the check engine display is on the screen. And then when, when you see check engine on the screen, you just hold this down until it switches over and start actually displaying um, the codes and so from there you can just shut it back off Change out this module after I change out the module everything is way save you a bunch of money guys Don't go to the dealership. They're gonna charge you like you don't know what no telling how much they're gonna charge you All you have to do is change out 150 120 dollar part. Don't get an aftermarket one. just don't get the aftermarket ones because This apparently is a very sensitive component for this machine you want the ohm specs to be immaculate with this. Um, I would just stay away from all those eBay $20 or $30 when they, you see, just go back to the OEM part. Yes, it's gonna cost you more money. It's gonna save you in the long run. No one wants to be down two miles in the woods trying to hunt and suddenly their four wheeler shuts off. So go with the OEM part. I haven't seen a rush of these. In other words, I haven't seen 
a batch of bad ignition coils lately. So I think it's safe to stick with the OEM part. This must have just been on an anomaly with this one because we haven't seen i actually have never had to replace this part on any of these polarises that's that's an incredibly reliable part historically speaking and so i don't think that it's necessary to move over to an aftermarket part just stick with the oem part and uh, you should be good but again the error code is 1268 maybe with a three at the at the bottom i'm not sure what the three means i'll do some more research maybe i'll find out what that means but 1268 is what you're looking for. It means that your primary coil driver is bad. The primary coil is that ignition coil that I showed you. It's one bolt holding it on. Replace it. You're good to go, guys. Save your money. Don't go to the dealership. Hit like on this video. Leave some comments. I need to be incentivized to produce free content for you guys. There's very little of this content out there. I'm trying to put it out there before I get too old and have to retire. I want to take this information to the graves. I want this information to be given to you guys so you can save yourself some money because I know how high cost these machines are to work. And it took me quite a while to figure this problem out. So free information, save you some time. Keep hitting like, send me comments, do whatever you can. That will incentivize me to make more of this kind of content because I got so many of these that I need to do. Love you guys. Have a great day.